everyone, welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Nina. Hello, everybody. I am Shane, and we're still talking about ways to greet people. Yes. This time, part C, we're going to greet a family member. Yes. You know what's interesting? Because I have two sides of the family with different cultures,、ah, right? Right. It's like a Portuguese and、Indian. Taiwanese and. Oh, well, Indian. an Indian too. Indian, Portuguese. Yes, <laughs> three different cultures. cultures. Yeah,、okay. but I would say the Indian Western side. Yeah. Um, they are very affectionate. Okay. So they, growing up, they would always smother me with hugs and kisses、oh. and affection, tell me that they love me.、Mm -hmm. But when I first came to Taiwan. And I met with my grandma from Taiwan.、Uh -huh. It was a, it was quite different. It was a culture shock because、mm -hmm. they didn't give me any hugs. They just gave me a pat on the back,、uh -huh. and they would never tell me that they love me. And if I tried to hug them, they would be very, very stiff. They'd be like,、oh. "Well, I noticed like my wife's family." Um, they never really hug each other. Yeah. And every time I go there, I hug both my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, and I think they seem to like it. <laughs> But it's—I never see my wife hug them. Yeah, I think they just got used to it, right? Yeah, it's a different culture. Yeah, I—I I, I think hugging and. Showing、nice. affection is so nice. Yeah, I think my grandma and grandpa eventually got used to it,、mm. so they are just they're okay with it. They wouldn't do it themselves, but they'll be like, okay, okay. <laughs> It's very interesting how greeting family members can be so much different. Yeah, depending on what culture you're in. That's true. Okay, let's get into part C. Rita goes up to her father in the kitchen. Hi, Dad. I'm home. What are you up to? Hey, kiddo. I'm just making us something to eat. How is your day going? It's not going too well. My friend is really mad at me. Okay, so this is part C. A family member. So greeting a family member.、Mm -hmm. Remember in part A we were talking about meeting a neighbor, so meeting somebody new. Yeah. And in part B we were talking about greeting an old friend. Yes. So now we've gotten to family, from stranger to old friend, now family, a family member. Okay, and a member is a person who is part of a group. Okay. Yeah, like we are a member. We have a membership,、mm -hmm. which is a noun as well,、yeah. with Costco maybe. Ah,、oh, yeah. So if you're a member of Costco, that means you're part of the group of people who pay money. Yeah. To be <laughs> able to shop at Costco. Exactly. For example. <laughs> okay, but if you're a family member, you're in the group of people who are related to each other. Yes. Right. Okay, so here we have Rita goes up. To her father, in the kitchen.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm going to be the father. Yeah, I'll be Rita, the daughter. You're going to be、daughter. Rita, and they're going to meet in the kitchen. Well, you are at that age where you could be I could, your dad. I could be your father, actually. Okay, I think so. Like, I think you're that old. Technically, no, you're that young. Okay. <laughs> okay, so a kitchen. What is a kitchen? A kitchen is a room where meals are cooked. Or prepared. Yes, I、right? love the kitchen. So, for example, kitchens in Taiwan are very small. That's true. Right? Yeah. In Taiwan, ah,、uh, when I first came to Taiwan, like now I'm used to it.、Mm -hmm. When I first got here, I was like, "What's wrong <laughs> with people in Taiwan?" A lot of times, you can't even fit a refrigerator in the kitchen.、Mm. I think you need to go to one of those bigger houses,、yeah. like apartments tend to have very small kitchens. Okay, but that's not the point. Okay, the point is that she is going to greet him in the kitchen.、Right? Okay, so okay. I'm Rita, and I'm the dad, Gary. Okay, so Rita says, 
Hi, Dad. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hi. I'm home. What are you up to? So when you ask what are you up to, it means maybe what... he's maybe he was on the refrigerator. No. <laughs> Dad, Dad, what are you up to? No, not that kind. No. It means what are you doing?、Ah, yeah. Okay. And Gary says, "Hey, kiddo, I'm just making us something to eat. How's your day going?" That's nice. My dad never makes me anything to to eat. Really? <laughs> He doesn't go into the kitchen. But you don't live with your dad now, do you? No, but even before,、mm. he would never make food. Would you make food for him? Yeah, all the time. How about your mother? Would she make food for you? Yes, she does.、Oh. She is an amazing cook. But your dad just not a cook. Not a cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So、right. he says to his daughter. Hey or hi, kiddo? Did he kiddo. say? He said hey or he said hi. Hi. I think he said hey. Oh, he said hey. She said hi. He said hey. Okay. <laughs>、right. So hey, kiddo. What's kiddo? So kiddo is a friendly word for a child or a young person. Oh, I get it because we sometimes call a child a kid. Yes. So it's a cute way to say kid, like hey, kiddo. Yeah. Sometimes you would even just say it to someone who's younger than you. Yeah. What's up, kiddo? What's up, kiddo? No. <laughs> you can't call me kiddo. I can call you kiddo. That's true. Okay, so Rita says it's not going too well. Okay, because the dad asks, "How's your day going?" Right?、Mm. My friend is really mad at me. Oh. Hmm.、Oh. What did she do? Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious now. Now they've made me very curious. Maybe Rita. I don't know. Maybe she lied to her friend. Maybe she stole her boyfriend. Oh wow! This could be an interesting drama. Okay, but it's nice. She wants to talk to her dad about her day, right? Yeah. So here she's greeting her father, and they're not really talking about like how does she touch him, or it's more about how does she talk to him、mm-hmm. and how he talks to her. So greeting somebody often can just say be talking about saying hello, how are you, and that's also the way you greet somebody is to get some information and show them that you care、yeah. about how they are doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Why so we take a break. Yeah, and we'll find out why、oh, Rita's、yeah. friend is mad at her. <laughs> Wait to find out. Yeah. Why did something happen? Well, we made plans to see a new art show at nine, but I was late. It's okay to be a few minutes late. It's nothing to be mad about. Right, but I wasn't a few minutes late. I was over sixty minutes late. Oh, that is bad. Welcome back, everybody. So、um, we have Rita and Gary, which is her father.、Yes. Who is her father? And、uh, they met up in the kitchen. Yeah, he was preparing some food for them,、ah, right? What a nice dad. Yeah, that is very nice. And so Rita is not doing very well. Yeah, because her father asked her, "How are you doing?" And、yeah. she said, "Not so good, right?、Yes. Why was she?、Uh, why was she not doing well? Well, I." That's what we need to find out. Her friend is mad at her, right? Yes. But we don't know what she did. Okay, let's find out. All right. So Gary says, "Why did something happen?" Well, <laughs> we made plans to see a new art show at nine, but I was late. Okay, so she's mad at her because Rita was late. Oh, hmm. okay. Yeah, being late, I feel like a few minutes is okay, right? But if it's too much, then it's rude. Right. Well, if you're late, that just means、uh, arriving after the right or the usual time.、Mm. And I'll test you. What's the opposite of? I'll test everybody. Don't answer right away.、Okay. What's the opposite of late? Huh, 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 huh. Nina. Early. Early.、Yes. Okay. So in early, you are going to be there before the usual time、yes. or the scheduled time. So some people may say it's always better to be 
early than to be late. Yeah. But、Ooh. some people also say it's better to be late than never. Some people, when they <laughs> go to parties, they'll also say it's I am fashionably late. Yeah. Which means it's kind of cool. To be late. Yeah, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, for example, we could say my flight was an hour late. So it was scheduled to be there, and it arrived one hour late. Yeah. Okay. So Gary says it's okay to be a few minutes late, like what you said, right? Yeah. It's nothing to be mad about. Yeah. Why would her friend be mad if she's just a Few minutes late. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Hmm. So minute she was maybe a few minutes late. Minute、yeah. is a short period of time, which is sixty seconds.、Mm, right. So one second is like one, two, three, something like that, right? Yeah, because sometimes, of course, one minute is sixty seconds. But often we will say a minute to just mean a very short, short period of time. Like I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, or just a minute. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, it's not necessarily, not always, exactly one minute. Okay. okay so what does Rita say? Rita says, "Right, but I wasn't a few minutes late. I was over sixty minutes late." Whoa. Wow. So that is one hour. So、yeah. there's sixty seconds in one minute, and there's sixty minutes, minutes in, in one hour. hour. And she was over one hour late. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty bad. So yeah, Gary says, "Oh, that is bad." <laughs> so Gary just said, "Oh, there's nothing I can do to help you." Yeah, because you made a mistake. It's her fault. And yeah. If I were her friend, I would be. I don't know if I'd be mad, but I wouldn't be happy. I think also it would depend on why she is late. Oh, that's a good point. Some things you can control. Some things are harder to control. Maybe she had a good excuse. That is true, right?、Yeah. It really depends why. Yeah. So、But、my feeling though <laughs> is that she didn't have a reason. If she had a reason, I think she would. Say the reason I was、mm. late because I had an accident, yeah, or、uh, I was at work and I couldn't get off on time, or at school and the teacher needed to talk to me. Okay, so if you were Rita、yeah. meeting up with a friend, yeah, how would you greet her,、ah. knowing how mad she is? <laughs> well, of course. I would apologize.、Mm. I would be, oh my goodness, I'm so so sorry that I'm late, and probably I would offer to do something nice,、mm. like try to make up for it. Yeah, so、right? that she is she she's not as mad, right? So, for example, maybe I'll say,、oh, I'm really sorry. Let me treat you to a drink, or、mm. let let me let me treat you to dinner tonight. That's、I'm、a、really、good idea. Sorry. Yeah, in that kind of situation, all you can do is apologize and try to make up for it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't ask how are you because we already know the answer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm bad. I was waiting for over an hour. Right. It sounds like it sounds like you would be like that. <laughs> Very I, nasty. I think I would be a little bit angry. Yeah. Okay. Well, we learned all kinds of ways to greet all kinds of people, and I think we've got. A good idea how to greet people. Yeah, we hope you learned something about it, and we will see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Rita goes up to her father in the kitchen. Hi, Dad. I'm home. What are you up to? Hey, kiddo. I'm just making us something to eat. How is your day going? It's not going too well. My friend is really mad at me. Why? Did something happen? Well, we made plans to see a new art show at nine, but I was late. It's okay to be a few minutes late. It's nothing to be mad about. Right, but I wasn't a few minutes late. I was over sixty minutes late. Oh, that is bad.
Hi, I'm Tina. 我们来看这一课的重点单词。第一个 member, member 名词成员。Are you a member of this club? 你是这个社团的成员吗？下一个单词 kitchen, kitchen 名词厨房。Sarah has a nice kitchen in her house. Sarah 的房子有一间很棒的厨房。下一个单词 late, late 形容词迟的、晚的。Nelson is always late for work. Nelson 上班总是迟到。最后一个单词 minute minute 名词分钟。The class will end in ten minutes. 这个课程将在十分钟后结束。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 mad at somebody, mad about something 指的是对某人、对某事感到愤怒。Mad 是形容词，恼怒的。注意它的后面，因为受词不同，搭配的介系词也会跟着变化。我们先来看看 mad at somebody 的例句。My father was mad at me last night. 昨晚我爸爸对我感到非常愤怒。我们再来看看 mad about something 的例句。I failed the test, and my mom was mad about that. 我考试不及格，我妈妈为此感到愤怒。下一个文法 make plans。计划、规划 ，plan 指的是计划，在这里惯用复数，它的后面可以先接上 to， 再接动词，或者是接上 for， 再接名词。我们来看看这个例句 ：We need to make plans for our winter vacation. 我们需要为我们的寒假做计划。最后一个文法 ，It's nothing to 加动词，没什么好怎么样的。Nothing 是一个代名词，指的是没有东西、没有事情。我们来看看这个例句 ：It's nothing to worry about. 没什么好担心的。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Hello, everybody. If you go to Jai, then you've probably at least heard of turkey rice. It's very important to the culture of Jai, and most importantly, it is delicious. So let's learn a little bit more about turkey rice. Yum yum. Turkey rice is one of Jai's most famous dishes. There are hundreds of turkey rice shops throughout the city of Jai. This delicious dish doesn't cost much, and Jai citizens and tourists alike love it. To this day, no one exactly knows turkey rice's origin, but it is said that Taiwan never really farmed turkeys. It wasn't until after World War II that they were brought into Chai City and in Chai County by American military forces. This could be seen as the beginnings of turkey rice. In the old days, the price of chicken was quite high. Many people couldn't afford it. However, a turkey is bigger in size and contains more meat. A great number of turkeys were also farmed near Chai. Therefore, turkey became the more common ingredient. The reason why turkey rice is so delicious is because of its four main ingredients: turkey, rice, sauce, fried shallots. Different turkey rice shops make the dish differently. Regardless of where you eat turkey rice, the best part about it is the perfect combination of turkey, rice, and sauce. Turkey rice symbolizes a food culture only found in Chai. Turkey rice is a part of Chai citizens' identity. It's really interesting to find out that they started using turkeys because chickens were too expensive. That's quite interesting culturally and economically.、Um, I've never tried. Turkey rice, myself, because I am a vegetarian, but it really looks delicious. So if you eat meat, definitely try the turkey rice in Jai. We'll see you next time.